Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm taking a look at the first images of the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3. Welcome back to the Fresh Brew Run Club. So for today's video, I'm very excited. I was perusing Instagram and I happened to see images of the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3. So the Instagram account Nvtzer, N-V-T-Z-R, um, otherwise known as John Molina, posted uh, some images of the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3. So I'm a huge Invincible fan, if you can't tell already. If you follow me, you know I've made like 10 videos, 10 or more videos about this shoe. I absolutely love the first two versions. So I'm really excited about it. Today I'm going to break down the images. Again, I don't have the shoe or anything. I'm just gonna take a look at the pictures, um, do a little bit of compare and contrast and, and, and point out some of the things that I notice in the picture because I am very excited about this. The Invincible's coming back. It's not going away. It's gonna be here, uh, looks like next year, but I'm very excited to talk about this. This is my favorite running shoe of all time. So. Let's dive into it. Jumping into this, I'm gonna break this down starting with the bottom of the shoe and working my way up because there is a lot of changes in this shoe compared to the Nike Zoom X Invincible 2, which came out earlier this year. So my first impressions of this shoe overall, it is a totally new shoe which makes me very excited. The first two versions of the Invincible really were kind of the same shoe. Uh, the outsole and the midsole were the exact same, and then the upper was a little bit different. So if you're unfamiliar, this is the original Nike Zoom X Invincible. What makes this shoe unique or, or different than other shoes is just this massive amount of Zoom X foam uh, in the midsole. It is a hyper cushioned shoe. I'm gonna get rid of this so I don't cause any confusion. But the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3, so we'll start with the outsole, the bottom of the shoe. It retains the same sort of waffle cleat type pattern uh, and the outsole, which I really like. Glad to see that pattern is back, but that's kind of where the similarities end. This version, the Zoom X Invincible 3, appears to have sort of a two-part outsole. So there's a front and a back, which is kind of interesting. The previous version was just like one solid chunk of foam. I shouldn't have thrown that shoe. Why not just grab another one? But you can see it's one solid chunk of foam with the uh, with the original Zoom X Invincible and also the Zoom X Invincible 2 had the same outsole. Kind of interesting. I don't know if, if that is to sort of add flexibility or, or a little bit more lightweight. There are also in the Zoom X Invincible 3, there's like these holes in the in the bottom um, I'm not sure if that again is for flexibility or if it's to cut down on the weight or if it's just kind of a, a design choice so the main thing that stood out to me about the shoe and it makes me a little bit nervous and again I don't want to judge this before I run in it but I'm just gonna go off the pictures it appears as if the heel is a little bit slimmer than the original zoom X invincible so I loved this shoe because I'm a heel striker and there is so much space on the heel, so much width, which is great for me because when I run, I hit the ground with my heel first. And if I step on a rock or something, there's so much surface area of this shoe that it kind of like molds around the, the difference in, in like the, the rock and it really has prevented me from twisting my ankle. So I'm a little bit nervous to see the possibility and I, I will have to see how it actually performs, but the possibility um, that the, the heel is not quite as wide. So moving up to the midsole, it appears to have the same amount of foam as far as like height wise, just a big old chunk of that Zoom X foam. However, it looks like there might be some like cutouts on the sides of the shoe. And again, this is this is the original Invincible. And if you, if you look at it, you can see it kind of bulges out. It looks like that has been almost like chiseled out of the Zoom X Invincible 3. So that's kind of interesting. If Nike can cut off just a little bit of weight by removing some of this like foam bulge, um, I, I'm not surprised that they're they're possibly doing that. Again, I don't know the weight comparisons. I will definitely compare the weights when the shoe comes out, but it, it does appear to have this like almost carved out area on the midsole. Another thing I noticed about the midsole, there is like kind of a paint sort of design. I think that's painted on. I don't think that's a separate type of rubber or, or midsole material. It just looks like paint, which is interesting. I think it opens up a lot of possibilities for like cool designs. Interesting design touch uh, that we didn't see with, with uh, the original Zoom X Invincible. So moving up to the upper, again, more changes. The first thing that stands out to me is this flyknit material almost looks like it's it's of higher quality than what we saw with, with the original versions. The Zoom X Invincible 3 upper, just it looks nicer for some reason. I don't really know how to describe it. In my mind, it does look like an upgrade. I think it's important to mention this shoe was not super ventilated, so it did run a little bit hot, but I would hope that the Zoom X Invincible 3 has a little more ventilated uh, flyknit material at the top, just to let a little bit of that, that hot foot air 
escape from the shoe. Uh, we'll see how it performs in real life though. Another complaint that I saw with the first two versions of the Invincible was this heel collar. So there is so much padding on this thing. It's almost like there's like pillows on the outside of, of the heel. On the inside, there's a ton of padding. Unless you're someone who like is constantly getting their ankles like kicked or hit by rocks or something, it just seemed unnecessary. That appears to be completely gone in the Zoom X Invincible 3. It's just kind of a standard heel collar. The, the inside padding actually looks almost like a vapor fly where it's sort of like minimalist, um, but just like a little bit of padding around the inside. It'll be interesting to see how that feels similar to like the vapor fly or the alpha fly um, with just sort of a minimalist heel collar on the outside and then some padding on the inside. So um, I don't know, looks like an upgrade there as well. And finally with the upper, it's a little thing, but I'm very excited about it. They have a heel pull tab. I'm not sure what the official scientific shoe term for that is, but there's a tab on the heel to help you pull the shoe up. I think it is an amazing feature. It is a very utilitarian, useful feature. I'm getting older, you know, getting a little more sore. So having something to help pull that shoe right up is, is going to help me a lot. So I'm excited to see that. So those are kind of the details that I noticed. Overall, the design I think looks cooler. Um, one of the things I talked about with the first two versions was the swoosh, which is purely aesthetic, but the swoosh was just an outline. Um, and that's my, that's my swoosh. Um, the swoosh is just an outline. On this one, it does appear to be like a full, like, <laughs> filled in swoosh and then there's one on the toe which reminds me of the nike presto which i think is a cool touch i don't know like you look down at your shoe and you're running and it's like oh that looks cool and i don't know maybe that'll just make me faster by like one or two seconds so i think the design of it is pretty cool there's a lot of opportunities on this shoe to come up with some really cool colorways so i'm excited to see what what nike releases so to wrap it up this the summary of my first impression of seeing the photos of this shoe is obviously it's a major major change major i think upgrade um, from the first two versions it does look like a, a pretty much a total redesign that there really isn't anything that's like exactly the same but i also think they from the pictures have maintained the spirit of the shoe which is a ultra cushioned shoe with a ton of zoom x foam uh, just a huge midsole it still looks pretty wide um so i, I think they they kept the shoe similar enough where it's going to be it's going to feel like an invincible um but different enough where it's like really worth it to make an upgrade. That is my overall impression. Again, I'm very excited about this. From what I read, it looks like this is gonna be maybe like a, a spring summer release of next year, which is kind of the, the release cycle that that the the, shoe, the previous shoes have been on before. So um, plenty of time to get your miles in in the existing uh, ZoomX Invincibles before the new one comes out. I got a couple that I need to I need to burn through before I'm looking to buy any kind of new running shoe. So that is my impression. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the shoe. Do, do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it ugly? Do you think it's gonna be an upgrade? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, I love the original two shoes and I'm, I'm excited. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this shoe. Very exciting. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon.